Uh, huh. 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 <laughs> um. Let's let's, let's hippity hop, hippity hop over here. Huh. Um. I could I could get rid of I could get rid of that. Wow, that's interesting. Um, so none of us were right. That's not a sequel. So I think I'm going to have an unpopular opinion based off of the chats. <laughs> uh, yeah, true, Steph. Um, I think I have an unpopular opinion that I'm going to share. Um... I, well, what, what, what was it, Kez? Let me know. Um, yeah, I, I think I have an unpopular opinion. I don't like this. Uh, I don't think it's going to be done for me. I think it's too soon. Well, I mean, Gen 2 Virtual Console was, like, kind of coming regardless I I don't like this. I feel like this is a cheap move. I feel like this is a money grab. This is knowing very little information, but the way that they're describing it, it it, it sounds like some really really fancy DLC pack. Just just loaded up into Sun and Moon. Although to be fair, to be fair, to be fair, to be fair, that's kind of like what platinum and emerald and that kind of stuff. That that's kind of what the, those, that's what those are. That's what those are. But the way that they're advertising it, it just it just feels it feels like a DLC pack. They're literally calling it Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. I, I feel like those are just as ultra as much as Pocken is DX Deluxe, and as much as Mario Kart Eight is uh deluxe mario kart 8 deluxe is deluxe like is it better than mario kart 8 sure the whole alternate story thing I... it's like black 2 white 2 no no it's different because it's an alternate story and i wasn't a fan of black 2 white 2 <laughs> I suppose it makes sense. I suppose it makes sense for... How alternate? Steph, that's a great point. How alternate is this going to be? I think that's what it comes down to. How different is this going to be? Because just calling it Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, there's something about it that just makes me feel like it's going to be a Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. It, it, it just it just feels it just it just feels that way uh and i think part of me just doesn't want to travel back to alola to be honest uh i feel like there was just so much that they could have done i think what i think i know what what's what's getting me i think it's the fact that the sun sun and moon just had so much so much plot to it and they left a lot of open holes to it they left a lot of stuff open. And this just feels kind of like, I guess sort of like a slap in the face. I guess you could call it that. Because it's... Because they're just scrapping that all together for an alternate story. Return of the gym system, maybe. I... I I think that I know why I feel this way. I know I think I could, I could fully express this. So, Pokemon's gone pretty big with uh, the story. Obviously, each generation they go on and on and on. And the fact that they are just going to scrap the beautiful story that they built up in Sun and Moon just to make some ultra version, it feels kind of cheap from a development point of view. It feels like they could have done better. It feels like they could have, they could have just given us something really really cool in like a Pokemon Stars. And expand on the story, or a Kanto remake, or a Double Jump 4 remake is kind of its own little thing. 
It's coming November, so it's coming really soon. I'm surprised this is a short window. This is a short window, and I guess it's because they don't have as much to announce for it, which is also a little bit concerning. That they they because uh, last time, Gen Seven we had we had another. We had an extra four months. We had an extra four months of news worth. You know what I'm saying? The release date makes it seem like... Makes sense. It doesn't look like they changed the region much. It, exactly. It doesn't look like they did change it too much. I could be wrong, but the way it feels, it's like they... Joe, thank you for the host. Joe, if you're free, I'm, I'm good to call if you... Uh... Or wait, no. Oh, just kidding. Wait, no, maybe? I don't even know. Uh... So, there we go. Oh, sorry, I was looking at something. I, I just, I feel like they could have done more. Like, instead of closing plot holes and expanding on that and just making something really wholesome, uh, they just, wait, but, Joe, Joe, what the hell? What the hell? Hi, Joe. Joe, are you free for call? Are you, are you streaming or like what? Or no, maybe. I don't know what you're doing. Joe, what the hell are you doing? Uh... Joe, do you want to call? If you want to call, we could call. Um, it's just weird! It's like, they have so many open things, and they have so many opportunities, and they're just going to go and scrap it and be like, Okay, just kidding. Let's go do something else. Uh, oh, okay, Joe. Fucking great. I'm going to call you right now. I'm very curious what your thoughts are on this. Because I feel like I have an unpopular opinion. I really do, and I don't want to. Like, I want to be excited for this. Right, I'm calling. I'm calling the Joe man. Joey boy. Hello. We we got cucked without getting cucked. To um, put it bluntly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, by the way, guys, if you don't know, this is Joe Ador in the call. What up? Him, he's a fucking class dude. And you guys should go follow him. Um, did you hear my thoughts at all? Were you were you like? No, I, I just came in. We just I like. Like, I started streaming, and, and I realized there was so little to talk about, like, by myself and with Sin. Mm. It was like, you know, to hell with it. We're just going to raid Josh. <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah. <laughs> thank you. So, I'll give you my the TLDR, like, my initial reactions. So, I feel like this was a cheap route for them because they had so many ways to go from Sun and Moon... So many open plot holes, and the way that they left it with Lily and all this other stuff. I feel like they had such a great opportunity to make like a great story and do all this stuff, but they're just scrapping it and making a completely alternate game, which just doesn't make sense. And not to mention, it feels like a Mario Kart 8 Deluxe or a Pokken DX, whatever this is now. Yeah, it, it feels it, like it that. It feels like we just had three Cash Cow games come out. That's, exactly. That's all they're going to talk about. That's, like, a, that's I don't, actually I don't, the point. Yeah. I don't see anything new coming from it, and I really don't want to play that same story again unless Lily is, like, gone, because I don't want to hear from her for another 12 hours. <laughs> you get in the bag. I'm in my alone form, guys! Like, just stop. Oh no, the Murkrows are scaring me! <laughs> this is, like, the worst character in any, in any, like, main series game ever. They should just not include her at all. I mean, that's that's an opinion. That's an opinion. That is my opinion. If it's unpopular, I'm sorry, but I cannot stand Lily. Yeah, I'm just disappointed. Like, ah, like, I feel like they're not gonna. I feel like they're not gonna give us a great game. But like, at the same time, this is just this is this is the same thing that they uh, did with like platinum and emerald and crystal and well, black two white two. They actually did something with a little bit. See, black two. Yeah, that's the thing. Black two white two was a sequel. Yes, that's. Yes, that's maybe what I like would want. they could have said alternate story, but like you started the game in your house, like all clothed out and shit. Yeah, like, that's a good point. You still follow the regular cool. formula. It's not like an XD kind of a thing where there's this whole upside yeah, down or not XD uh, Coliseum where you like start an evil mm -hmm. team. Like it doesn't look like it completely flips the table. Right, uh, I gotta go for a minute. I'll be right back. Okie doke. Hmm. So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and make a straw poll. I'm gonna make a straw poll. I want to get your raw opinion on this. Uh, hi Martin, by the way. Psh, I'm gonna make straw polls. Just stay right here, guys. I'm gonna make a nice little poll so you guys can vote. First thoughts. Neutral. 
Okay, so guys, go ahead and vote. Go ahead and vote on what you think, just your first thought of this, of this trailer. Did you love it? Did you like it? Are you neutral? Let me know. I'm very curious what the popular opinion is here. Do you hate it? Are you not a fan? I would say I don't hate it, but I'm not a fan. Like, they need to they need to show me some really cool stuff to make me a fan. After the bar they kind of set with Sun and Moon. So I'm saying I'm not a fan, but I want you guys to voice your opinion. Please, please vote, vote, vote. It looks like a mixed bag. It looks like a mixed bag here. Um. So guys, please vote. Click that link and vote. I want to... Send Lily a canto. Oh yeah, true. But it's that's the thing, it's an alternate story. It's uh Like the thing is how alternate is it? That's what it comes down to now. That's what it comes down to. So guys, keep on voting, please. Click that link. We're getting up there in the votes. So it looks like a lot of people are neutral, which is not a good thing. Which is not a good thing. The fact that people are neutral and not like excited, I think in itself is not a good sign because Pokemon Directs leave people fucking hyped. Like, X and Y, fucking hype. Pokemon Bank and Mega Evolution, fucking hype. Sun and Moon, fucking hype. This is not something that people are hype over. This is like... Like, eh. Like, some people love it. A handful of people like it. A lot of people... Well, let's, put, let's put it this way. Uh, well over half. Well over half. From this small, from this small portion, uh, 25 plus 13. So that's not a good sign, actually. So only 40 people. So it's a small sample size from you guys that voted. But out of 79 people, almost three quarters of the people are either neutral, or not a fan, or hate it. So that's not a good sign. Like, yeah, it's not a bloodbath, but it's not a good sign. Uh. Yeah, Steph, that's a good point. It depends. Maybe maybe they couldn't have given a better presentation, though. Maybe it's that bad. <laughs> but um, they're really going to try and melt the 3DS. Yeah. Yeah, they really will. Maybe they'll prove me wrong, though. Maybe they will. Maybe there's some aspect of being familiar with the region that you'll catch on to other details that they put in. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to go on Cerebi, see if they point out anything, uh, like, small, anything cool or whatever. Hmm. It's very interesting that's available uh, November 17th. Well, not the 17th specifically, but November this year. That's, that's very soon. That's very soon. And uh, I will say, that's perfect for me because uh, my next semester of college is like going to be my easiest semester of college like ever. So that's going to be perfect timing. That's going to be the perfect timing because after that, I'm going to university and that, that kind of sucks. So you guys will get a lot of content for me, so that's good. Hmm. Yes, yeah, that's true. Don't get me wrong, guys. I am, I am excited. I'm excited that we have a new game coming out. And that in itself is great. Maybe... Maybe they've heard the cries about shiny hunting not being good, and that's one of the features, is the whole shiny hunting thing. Uh, maybe. I'm excited that there's a new game. I'm excited that there's a new game, but I don't... I think it could have been way better. I think that's what it comes down to for me. I'm back, um, by the way. I had to move my car. Hello. Hello. How's it going? Ah, uh, it's going all right. No complaints here. I hope they add, like, battle features of some kind. Bring back horns. I don't know. I wonder if they could... I wonder if they could optimize would be the nice. game more. Hordes would be cool. If they could what optimize exactly? the game for uh, for the 3DS more. Because as you learn a console mean, more, you're able to optimize it more, right? Like, like make, make, it, game make it look better and run more smoothly? Is run that what you better. mean by optimize? Run better, that's the thing. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. I agree. Elliot! Elliot! Elliot, <coughs> Elliot I love you, and I need your fucking code for your channel, uh, whatever. That is, that is very, very... Oh yeah, then there's Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, it's a good meme. I... Ah, oh, man. I don't know. I think they really need to do a great job to, to, to win my loyalty with this one. I, like I was saying, don't get me wrong, I'm excited that we have a new game. That is That in itself is cool. Uh... It's it's more it's more new game, it's more new content to make, it's more stuff to get people excited over. You're cute, Elliot. Uh, but I feel like they could have really hit a home run with this, and they just like they just they just bunted. 
That's all they did. I don't know. And uh, this was interesting, Joe. My my opinion isn't really uh, as unpopular as I thought. I did a poll. I did a poll. Uh, <coughs> love it, hate it, like it, not a fan, or neutral. And over 70%, so 73% of the people are either neutral, they hate neutral it. Neutral or worse. Neutral or worse, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you gave it one out of five, and most people gave it a three or fewer. Yeah, exactly. And that's the thing, that's not good for this. Even even though a good chunk of that was neutral, when you have a direct that leaves people feeling like, meh, like it's cool, but like whatever, if you, if you leave them feeling neutral, that's not good, because the last <coughs> three were... I mean, X and Y, that was hype as hell. That's a new generation on the 3DS. The next one was Pokemon Bank and Mega Evolution. That was hype as hell. And then the next one was Gen 7, Sun and Moon. That was hype as hell. And this one's like... this one's Well, no, the next one was Omega Ruby off Sapphire. No, nah, that, that one wasn't a direct. Oh, it wasn't a direct. Yeah. The only three that have been were... Two of them were new generations, and the other one was Mega Evolution Pokemon Bank, which is, was big. You know, the combination of that... Mm-hmm. It's uh yeah it's it's a filler game that's what it is Ellie you're right and uh it's Check I hope the they give us something good soon. yep <clears throat> they should have got us more uh just just something more substantial rather than oh Pokken oh Virtual Console oh I mean okay I know Virtual Console is exciting for some people but oh you know Virtual Console and then oh Ultra Sun Ultra Moon it's uh it's a filler game. It's a filler game. I thought I think they really could have done better. I thought Sun and Moon was a filler game after I played it. <laughs> I thought Sun and Moon was a great game. The community impact it was a great value. game, but like uh, they didn't add enough, in my opinion. Well, that's that's a lot of games like first generation, like X and Y had some stuff missing. Like it was a great game, but like first generation, you know. Although to be there fair, new forms. To be I feel fair, like we're just showing out sixty bucks for a couple of new forms, or forty bucks for a couple of new forms. So that's the thing I'm afraid of. Yeah, I'm actually looking at some of the screenshots here. Are you popping them on screen, like for the stream to see? I'm uh, I'm I'm working on it. I'm working on getting a new sort of a thing. Ah oh, man, this is just giving me a bad feeling, I mean, dude. I guess it's I guess it's good to know that Pokemon's gonna like. Uh, to that's take a good away, title for the Switch. For, for that's me. a good title for the Switch. I mean. Sure, but, like, for me, good. I feel like that's the best thing that came out of this, because now the Pokémon scene is going to get a gigantic revival, because they're going to get the Mario Kart 8 treatment, and Mario Kart had hit a sales record of all, like, over pretty much every other game in the Mario Kart series, because it came out on the Switch. You know they're going to get the same thing. They have Pokémon and Ultra Sun and Moon in the same trailer video, so it's fucking hard to get screenshots, because, like, half of it's Pokémon, and I'm just sitting here like, why are they in the same trailer? Is that how bad Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon are? Where's the Sun and Moon part? I can't even fucking find it anymore. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Hello? Dude, there's, like, no Sun and Moon in this. Did you check the call chat, by the way? Oh, I think I think Jerry wants him. Can you add Jerry? Yeah, I got him. Yeah. This is fucking ridiculous. Oh. <laughs> that there's like. Oh. Huh? Stop showing me. All right. Me can you hear me, Josh? Oh, shit. What? I can hear you. Okay, I have a screenshot for y'all. Josh, can you hear me? I can hear you. I cannot hear you now. Okay, that sucks. Hello, hello, hello. 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 Uh, Guys. I can't hear Josh. Hello. Oh, you can't hear him? Can't hear him. Is my mic on? Josh. Hello? No, we would see the, uh, we would see the mute button if he was... Am I good? Um... Why? You guys can hear me just fine. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, there we go. Now it's working. That was weird. It just happened out of nowhere. Yeah, right, Discord's so been glitching a lot recently. I don't it know. It has been. Yeah, Jerry, what do you think? How are you feeling? Um, I am kind of indifferent. I would have much preferred to have um, DPP remake. I'm popping up a, a remake. Uh, not a remake. <laughs> I have that in my head. Popping up a screenshot right now. Um, Malago, thank you for the follow. I'm going to turn sounds back on. Um, preferably purple. Can you get me a timestamp for that? As far as the... Uh, 
as far as the three minute trailer goes if you give me a timestamp for that i could get a screenshot so you guys can't see me now so that's good jerry share me your thoughts and then we'll talk about this screenshot because this is one of the few good gameplays that we actually have you want to hear my thoughts give me yeah um i i sort of like it because it sort of leaves a lot of questions unanswered like what the hell is necrozma we don't really have that figured out yet and i'd rather them figure it out in a game based in alola as opposed to like what happened to zygarde sure zygarde was you know announced in x and y and you didn't get questioned until a generation after so i'm, I'm happy that they're Focusing on Necrozma in Gen 7 when it was released in Gen 7. That's fair. That's fair. I think that there's a better way that they could have done it in, though. Because it would have been stupid if they were like, Oh, look, Demon Pro Remix and Necrozma is going to fuse with Dialga and Palkia. <laughs> like, that wouldn't make any sense. That's true, but I feel like a sequel could have done that just fine and probably better. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I get it. Put on some music. I just tweeted out and I'll say it again. Gotta say I'm happy for the Pokken community, but to be honest, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon feels like paid DLC. That's what it feels like. But at the same time, they did that with like past sequ uh, past games, you know? Uh, Black 2 and White 2 were not paid DLC. They were not. No, Black 2 and White 2 Would were their own games paid DLC. took place two years after the events that happened in Black and White 1. Yes. Uh. Would you call Platinum paid dlc no platinum is the best game ever made Don't even i love platinum, platinum but compared to diamond and pearl i think i think platinum made enough differences it's somewhere in between black 2 white 2 and i <laughs> think what ultra sun would be poke aim with the good comparison uh here i'll drop this in the call he said yeah, uh, but why we actually got we actually got liger zero and pokemon now <laughs> oh my god <laughs> jesus freaking freaking Necrozma is so, so, the sun form or whatever it's wherever we're gonna call it the Solgaleo Necrozma combination. That I, I feel like is that's taking it too far. I don't like that. Um, so that's uh that's a little bit of a stretch, but uh guys, if you can pop on my stream, I have the screenshot pulled up. We're gonna talk about that. Um, we're probably gonna talk a little more about speculation. Than I thought we were going to, so. Starts at three minutes. Okay, so uh, preferably pur purple. Can you give me a uh, can you give me a timestamp from the three minute trailer? That would be great. See you, Steph. Although I gotta admit, um, freaking Lunala uh, Necrozma form looks pretty dope. It does. They looks do like look really cool. They do look really cool. Where is that? Uh, uh, someone's telling me if there's like a scene where there's a bunch of Pokemon games and there's no Diamond and Pearl. Like that was the only game that's not there. Um, if someone give me a timestamp on that, that would be great. Uh, yes. Yeah, like, so can anyone can anyone 100% truly say they were expecting this? Not in this form. Not in this form. Not an alternate story. Not an alternate story. So. Looking at this screenshot, someone brought up an interesting point. I don't know how much of a stretch this is, but uh, actually, we should look in the video on how it's actually coming in. So there's the Wingle right next to the the trainer. Is there a chance that that is a following Wingle, or is that? I can't see it. You, it cuts off on so. your screen. Can you bring it up a little bit? Uh, oh no, that's it's it's like a wide screen cutout. So like that's all it that oh. showed. Yeah, they did like the wide screen ratio, or whatever. Okay, so I don't know. Okay, hold, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go back to the trailer of... I don't know why they did this. It's super convenient for anyone that wants to get, like, screenshots of Ultra Sun and Moon. Ooh, that's interesting. That's interesting. That's interesting. What? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, Guys, I'm going to go ahead and monitor capture this. It looks like it might be following you. Hold on, wrong monitor. Hold on. There we go. Yeah, guys, look at my stream. I think they're following you. Oh, I'm gonna play the slow motion actually. Uh, let's go. Let's go 0.5 speed here. Oh. So. Hello, OBS. Yeah. So check it out here, guys. The Wingle is following you. That Wingle is following you. That is definitely 
following you. There's no way it is not. Guys, I think that's got to be. That is such a sharp turn that that wingle just made. But it went ahead of you. It started out behind you a bit and then went ahead of you. I... Uh... If it slowed down, I could agree with that. But it looks like it's just part of the really good scenery where it just passes by. I... Dude, that... That's a really sharp turn for just some Although random Pokemon. that's kind of interesting. Um, hold on. This, the, go back to the part where it shows the okay, three starters guys, and the two Pikachus go, show go up. To minute, go to minute 316. 316. Oh, we'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, Which part? The starters, you said? Uh, I think it's like 304. Okay, what about that? Just, just play. Just play from where it is, to be honest. Thank you, Robert, just I followed. really couldn't care less about fucking Pokemon, honestly. I also agree with that, but I get why some people are excited. And it's a good, it's another title for the Switch, so whoop the fuck. Alright, next, next scene, get to the one where the two Pikachu show. Uh, it's and more stop. than two. Yeah. Ooh, in what context would there be six Pikachus in the game? Was there any position for that? Uh, uh, I don't know. Anything walking Pokemon, like um, Pokemon like like, like the Amity Square in in the Diamond Pearl, like a park where you can bring your Pokemon. Maybe. Okay, well that's something. That's probably what this is. Some kind of new park-like feature. That that kind of hints towards Pokemon following you. A little bit. I mean, the fact yeah, that that was in the game dump as well. They had every game model, and they said new features. Well, that's interesting. If they brought but in I mean, Pokemon like, following, that would definitely make me feel better. Not 100%, yeah. but that alone, I would absolutely adore. Hat Pikachu. This might be a little bit of a stretch, but what if we have some Johto alone forms because they announced gold and silver? Uh, we don't have any Kanto mm, alone forms. Oh, yes, we do. Never mind. I'm all sorry. of them are a Kanto. I was, I was thinking Mega. I was thinking Mega for a second. I don't know why. <laughs> Because why else would they announce gold and silver? You know, of no, you're Pokemon. right, you're right. I had a brain fart. Don't worry about it. You want a Pokemon? That'd be lit. I'm at 316 now, that, that point that you were talking about, Jerry. Uh, so what do you what think the hell there? is, is that, that? Is that like what you do to fuse <laughs> well, I'm gonna pop channel, the legend so with Necrozma? Yeah, what if they added like a like a Lycanroc Twilight form that was halfway between the two? Um, or something like that. I doubt hmm. they will, but they showed Lycanroc there, which makes me think, like, it can't just be nothing. Also, what is that stone? Which, uh... Oh, crap, that's the wrong link. I was gonna say... The one that you're frozen, that you're freeze-framed on. That looks like a different Z... Not, not Z-ring, but it looks like a different... Oh, was I on Twitter? No, where the fuck is my... Oh, I was on Serebii. Oh. I was gonna say, like, where the fuck was I watching this video? <laughs> <laughs> um uh preferably purple uh yeah someone uh you could permit preferably purple you could you could permit him i really think i really think that that's a walking pokemon Okay, I guess, hold on. I'm gonna look up the, uh... The walking Pokemon dumps. I wanna see the motion. Who had that on their YouTube channel? Who was that? Was that, uh, Scryes, whatever, Skyers? I'm gonna ask, uh... Hold on. <sighs> Gotta cut that out for a second, guys. Alright, I'm working on finding where those walking models are. Cause that could help us with that wingle. I want them to fix that. Festival Plaza so much. I just realized oh, this is yeah, actually a good I opportunity for that. This is a good opportunity I don't think they for will, that. Though, unfortunately. Ooh. EXP Awesome tweeted me that and he said, uh, yeah, hey, if they fix the online system, I'm like, oh, they can Wait, do they, that. Yeah. That's interesting. Uh, you know, Honestly, I think they have enough opportunities to make things right with this. 
maybe hopefully they fix the frame rate issue that's what i was saying that before actually like they should optimize the game more like i don't know please 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 okay if they fix on. If they fix, if they do something really good with Festival Plaza, add some new shiny hunting methods and or bring back hordes, uh, bring the walking Pokemon and have a dope ass story, I will be a happy camper. I won't be like hyped as hell like I was for Sun and Moon, but I will be a happy camper. If they do more than that, then I will probably be hyped as hell. I will say that. That's that's enough for me. That's enough. Uh, and I will say... That now, now the abbreviation is going to be Pokemon Usum. I... <laughs> Yeah, Instead people kind of stopped Pokemon using the abbreviation, Sumo. though. Like, at least as much. You know? Uh, okay, there's the link. I'm actually gonna check it out. Sorry, guys, I'm kind of doing a few things at once. Thank you for that follow, actually. Preferably purple. Yo, uh, rip the Wii U. The Wii U needs to be ripped. It's an outdated console. <laughs> it really is. Just let it happen. Only reason why I still use mine is because I have XD on there. Oh, wow, that's really interesting. Okay, uh, yeah, check this out, guys. Um... Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so... Let me verify this. Yeah, that's really interesting. So, guys, check this out on my stream. They have every game represented on there, except for Diamond and Pearl and Platinum. They have Heart Gold, Soul Silver. They have Gold, Silver. Don't have Crystal. But they have every region represented, except for Sinnoh. Which is actually pretty interesting, actually. It might... It might be behind him. Oh uh, no, it's probably good. Does he move his head at all? No, no, it doesn't look like it. That's a very interesting point. Uh, honestly, I'm okay with not having Gen 4 Remix right now. Just because I think if they just waited a little bit longer, and I've been saying this for a while, but I would have been okay with it today, but like, the longer they wait, obviously, you know, the more killer of a game that it could potentially be, you know? Huh. Whoa, okay, this is big. This is big. This is big. Okay, the... Their... Their press site. This is, uh, hot off the press from Sarah B. Ultra Sun and Moon, guys. I could... I could report live to you all. Sun and Moon. Ultra Sun and Moon. Has a TBA release date for the Switch. What? Oh, it says they removed it two seconds later. That's not an accident. Well, it's an accident, but that's not a mistake. Ultra Sun and Moon is coming to the Switch. Okay, I'm this makes more that. sense. This makes more sense now. All right, I'm starting I'm to. That is, okay, if you refresh, uh, is it still there? Switch now. Uh, yeah, look at that. Yep, I'm retweeting that. S wow, okay, that's big. That's big. So it's coming out on the Switch and the 3DS. 3DS is coming very soon. Switch is not coming for a little while. Switch will be March. Guarantee it. I'm getting that 100%. Well, now I'm getting the Switch, so that's interesting. <laughs> wow, where is the link? Where is the link to that? Uh, it says it changed right after. Like, it's not there anymore. But it's coming out. It's coming out on the Switch. <laughs> well, I Someone... mean, they could have posted it in Nintendo 3DS. Oh, actually, no, that had a... Hmm. Yeah, no, it's coming out on the Switch. It does. I was gonna say is. if it said Nintendo 3DS TBA, Switch TBA, I was gonna be like, well, maybe they're just teasing it, but there's no date. But nope. that's interesting. We are getting. You know, I, I want to see Twitch chat reaction to that. Dust next to my computer. So. Well, that's good because that means I get more time to get a Switch. Well, <laughs> um, yeah. Wow. So that's that's new, guys. We have uh, we have that. It's pretty much coming on the Switch. Oh look, guys! Big changes. There, there is now a Nintendo Switch in the main character's room instead of a Wii U. That. <laughs> well, yeah. that's that's good. Something. Oh. I'm looking at Joe Joe Merrick's tweets because he always has good stuff. <laughs> yeah, I love I love it. For the love of God, Game Freak! If you do a demo this year, scrub it properly. <laughs> yeah, they're not. Oh, we don't have all the freaking assets to data mine. Yeah. Are you comparing Sogaleo to a freaking Zoid? Because I like that. Oh, that's not my comparison. Somebody else's. Oh. Um, uh, Pokey Aim put that out. This shit, man. I love yeah, Pokey put that out. Oh, uh, someone told me in the chat. Sorry, guys, I'm, I'm like busy looking at other stuff right now. I'm trying to keep up with chat. But uh, someone told me that the the guy bows 
in the video, so he, you do see there is no Diamond, Pearl, or Platinum. I think that shows us... I think that shows us Diamond, Pearl, Remakes are definitely... Uh, we knew that they were coming at some point, but maybe sooner than we think. Do you think... Do you think uh, Sinnoh Remakes... Do you think we're going to be looking at 3DS or Switch? <laughs> or both? Um, possibly, maybe. Well, I don't know, because apparently everyone thought that the 3DS was going to die out, but now that they're coming out with the new 2DS... Yeah, that's true. So what if we see the new, new 3DS? Bruh. No. Bruh, bruh, bruh. The new squared 3DS? <sighs> How about the new the new 2 3DS? You got the Mew and the Mew 2, then you got the Ooh. new and the new 2. Oh, no. And you can have the the Mega New 2X and the Mega New 2Y. <laughs> Bruh. Oh, uh, no. Please, no. Please, no. Joe is, Joe is working hard. Oh, Coral Coro is leaking within a week, too. Yeah, that's true. Oh, it's news season, guys. It is news season. Wow. Okay, so... You know, I do feel better than my first impression. I, I don't love it still. <sighs> I, I would call myself neutral now, though. Before I said I was not a fan, now I, w now I would say I'm neutral. So, I, I would I, don't, I think Sinnoh remakes are most certainly in store after Ultra Sun and Moon. And I think for the Switch. See, the thing about Pokemon that I love is whether people like it or whether people hate it, everyone's going to end up getting it. So, our opinions don't really matter. Yeah. Uh, so, Clipsite points out something interesting. The full list of missing main series games are Yellow, Crystal, Diamond, Platinum, Pearl, Black 2, and White 2. But the interesting thing in that is that... Uh... Oh, wait, those were all, like, secondary games. Besides Diamond and Pearl. Uh, all the regions are represented except for Sinnoh, though. So that's that's something interesting too, though. They they have all the regions represented except for Diamond and Pearl. So that's uh, hmm, that's interesting. So yeah, that's that's so all of the third game, all of the third games slash sequels and Diamond and Pearl. You're right. Uh, yeah, behind us has a Pokeball. Well, actually, yeah, uh, Yellow was kind of behind. Actually, no, yeah, I think that is Yellow behind us head. I mean, maybe they only had enough room for six gens, but eh. I mean, that's pretty convenient for there to be a... Uh... Yeah, yellow's there. Yellow is there. It's pretty convenient where? to have everything else there except for Sinnoh. <laughs> you know? Wait, where is yellow? Yellow's behind his head? Yeah, yellow's behind his head, yeah, it is. Yeah, whenever he bows, you see the box. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then Crystal's not on there. I will say this, though. I love the logos for the games. Crystal, DPP, Black 2, White 2. Then again, I guess Gold and Silver Remakes is Crystal, or not Remakes, uh, Virtual Console. Um, I'm on the fucking front And side. Black 2, White 2, DPP is the... Oh, I know, sorry. Black 2, White 2 is repped by the Sun and Moon one. Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. Serby just pumped something else out. What is this? Is this <sighs> more breaking news? Uh, I'm gonna go on their Twitter. Cerebinet. Cerebinet. Ridiculously high quality image of Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. I mean, wow. That is. That. That looks not like Pokemon, but fucking cool as hell. <laughs> what, that? The, yeah. I, I linked that to you just a minute ago. Oh shit, for real? Yeah, well, I dropped the Lunala one. Oh, gotcha, my bad. I found the image, but I just only sent you Lunala because I had already yeah. sent. Yeah. Yo, this decidual IR is actually looking pretty swanky. Pretty swanky. Hmm. Man, I could I could smell all of the ten things we want in Ultra Sun and Moon videos. <laughs> um, oh my god. I will probably be making one, but uh, you know, yeah. I'm not gonna be making one. It's not worth it right now. No idea, Munchlax. To be honest, um, I mean, eventually. I, I, I just, I just fucking love the logos for the games. Honestly, I, I like them. I don't, I don't know why I'm not. I'm just a skeptic. I don't know. 
I mean, how did you how did you feel about Black and White too? I was not a fan of 5th Gen, and I didn't play during 5th Gen, but I think that if they were to make a third game sort of a deal, I think that the way they did that would be the way to do it. I personally adored Black and White 2. So many people do. People say that it's the best story, and I kind of agree. Platinum has a beat by far, but Black and White 2, as far as stories, is amazing. Probably, it's probably a, a, a second runner-up, yeah. I will say this. I feel like... Uh... Just looking at the screenshot that I had originally with like just how colorful it is and stuff. I hope that a lot of the changes aren't just that. Cause like I feel like they're just gonna like bump up the contrast and like like oh my god, look at that, it's better. And it's like no, that's a color correction. So the official press release The official press release that just got that just came out does not say it's a 3DS exclusive. It just says Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon are scheduled for a worldwide release on November 17, 2017. More information about the games will be revealed later this year. Obviously, Koro Koro leaks later this week. And E3 is coming. Um, E3 the week after. Um, yeah. So that's that's what we have in front of us. Your boy Jerry going. Your boy Jerry going broke, man. Yeah, I'm gonna start saying. Are we trying to do a? Are we trying to do a Pokémon uh, thing like we did last? Time? <laughs> nah, fuck that. I'm not getting Pokémon. That's a waste of sixty bucks. Fucking Pokémon, man. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna trade the Wii U version to my local game store and be like, yo, how much will this get me towards the 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 Switch version? They'll be like, yo, like twenty bucks. But like, hey, something. <laughs> I uh <laughs> I I agree with your tweet, Joe. You know what? Yeah, so if they ra if they Which fix one? Festival Plaza, if they bring back hordes. I would be okay with it. If they do that and they do the models, then I would be ecstatic. Is this gonna pop up Ooh, I just realized gold and silver exclusive moves are going to be a thing as far as competitive pokes are concerned. That is interesting. That That's going to open up a lot of new uh, and not only non, that, but non we're gonna get Pokemon with their options. hidden abilities, too. What's that? We're going to get Pokemon with their hidden abilities, too. Wait, is a, is a Pokebank... Gold, silver, red, blue, yellow. Is that instantly? Yeah, that's a thing. Hidden ability. Yeah, it's gonna be. It's gonna be compatible. That was one of the features. Oh shit! Who doesn't have hidden abilities? The uh, beasts. Not like it matters because they have fucking. What is it? Pressure for their abilities or something? Pressure. Pressure. Push it down on me. Push it uh, down on me. And okay, then we can uh, actually get Lugia with the hidden ability I'm about and Hoo. To be looking at. The dumps. No, like it 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 I, I got them. Here, hold up a second. I actually kind of want to make a video just talking about that. Talking about we all missed the we all saw the bit the big news, but we missed the actual news, which was that Rico gets Volt Who Absorb. Who? Oh my God, Rico's going up to OU, Jerry. Hmm. Rico's hidden ability is Volt Absorb. No, he do, they don't have Volt Absorb anymore. They don't? Well, no, it's another or... ability. I forget the ability. Oh, it's an inner focus. Rip. Like... Never mind. Rip, 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 rip. That's lame. Because apparently it would make him too good. And I was like... Running Ooh. animation? What is this? I'm I'm trying to match up the Wingle to the one if we get any kind of a commonality. Oh, true. I finally found them. Uh, Matt showed them to me. So it kind of like okay, waves... Means that, yeah, it kind of no, wavers back and forth. Get right by kiss. So yeah, their their okay. abilities now from oh, the beast is uh, inner focus. Ew. Is Ew! How about Celebi? Anything good for Celebi? No, it just gets natural cure. No hidden ability at all. Although that'll be cool. They're gonna have maybe they'll have some kind of uh, Celebi event so people can get Celebi again. I really uh, yeah, want to have, have some yeah, crazy we do have the hidden with abilities for the bird. Mm hmm. Zapdos gets static, and Moltres gets whatever, and Articuno gets whatever. Uh, ho uh -oh. Regenerator. Could you get Regenerator ho -oh up to the, up to this point? Uh, yeah, through the Dream World in black and white. Oh, okay. But now we actually get it, like, legit. And now it actually gets its, its like gold and silver move set. So we get those hidden abilities, and then I wonder what Celebi's hidden ability is. It doesn't have one listed. 
because now they can actually try and make that event legal and we can get a legit legal Celebi that's shiny. Whoop, whoop. I I don't see I don't see as much commonality. It's it's I would say it's hard to get a commonality with the running animation. It's not it's not like black and white. Multi-scale Lugia Broken as shit. Mm, well, multi-scale? Multi-scale Lugia? Yeah. What do you think? What do you think of the Mimikyu part? I'm on that right now on the trailer. I mean, Mimikyu is my favorite Pokemon, so anything about Mimikyu is amazing. Like, it literally comes down and is about to, like, fucking destroy Uh, that's, that's a Mimikyu exclusive Z-move. Just looking at it. That's interesting. Yeah. See, there's, I think Togedemaru is getting one, too. Honestly, I wouldn't love that, because I just don't love Z-moves. The I reason like why I'm going to like these cool. games more is because no Lily. Oh, yeah, no, Lily did not make it into the trailer. I was so happy. She's off, yeah. she's off in Kanto somewhere, helping her mom out. Well, but if, if that's a sequel, or if, that, if she's off in Kanto, yeah. then this is a sequel, which instantly lifts my spirits regarding the story. Because I don't, I don't want just an alternate, like, a few things changed of the old one. I want a freaking sequel with Lily out of the picture. <laughs> although, True. although to be fair, I think it will be interesting. I think it will be interesting to see all of the characters that we, like, you know, got to know through Sun and Moon, just in a completely different setting. It's like an alternate universe. Mm-hmm. I, I, agree I feel completely. like that could be kind of funny. Not funny, but, you know, uh, it could be interesting. Like I'm imagine like team now, by the way. alternate story could be mistranslation. That is true, because it is subject to localization. Hmm. Yeah, that's you a good go to point. Kanto confirmed. No, there won't be any Kanto. What do you think that uh, that ring is at the end? I di I don't hear it. Oh, like the ring, like a like a <laughs> ring, like a ring, or like, like a ring, ring at the end of the trailer. <laughs> oh, oh, the Z ring looking thing that. Um, I like it. It looks cool. It's black. It looks like a looks like a megastone. Please bring back megas, and I will be so happy. But they're not going to do that. Or it could be a. Uh, they it could be Pokemon. The same, it could be. It could be this gen's version of the DNA splicers, because that's definitely going to be oh. how you combine the Crosva and uh, uh, Sogaleo or Lunala. That's an interesting. One. Ultra you, Z move. Ultra I'll guarantee you. I, I guarantee you, they're going to be called the Ultra Splicers. Blah, blah, blah. No. <laughs> what about the uh, Z splicers? Oh, yeah, too. Yeah, the Z splicers. You have a point. Maybe. I I don't. Ah, whoa, whoa. I don't know. I feel like it's interesting that we're getting new Pokemon. That's interesting. I guarantee we'll probably get two or three new Ultra Beasts. Yeah. Oh yeah, Ultra, like Ultra Beast. I didn't even think about that. So, <laughs> more Pokemon to abuse the beast boost. Do you hey. think that this story will have a lot more Ultra Beast involvement since it's called Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon? Yes, 100%. Yes. That's why they're going to revolve around Necrozma, because we don't know if it's an Ultra Beast or a legendary Pokemon. It's a mixture of both. Yeah. Like. Yeah, true. That is interesting. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right. Uh, any other parts of the? Well, trailer? we did delve into alternate dimensions, so I wouldn't be that blown away if characters act differently, like an evil Gladian. Gladian was evil. He was an edge lord. He became unevil. <gasps> what be? What if? What if the retelling of the story shows Gladian as your traveling companion, and Lily is the evil edge lord? Nah, I really just hate Lily. <laughs> You really do. You really, really do. Yo, Lax, what's I'm good? Just, I'm not a fan. Just, you annoyed me too much with pointless dialogue. And not one, you know, but two playthroughs. I don't know why, but I am I am actually hyped now. I don't know. I think it's just because it's a new game. I am I am hyped. I don't know what force in me is and why, but I think it's the I think it's all of the potential. The potential of new Pokemon, the potential of Festival Plaza being completely fucked up and all that kind of stuff. Uh, horde hunting coming back, shiny hunting methods in general just being better. I think that there's just so much potential, it's just a matter of what they do, and I think the potential of that just makes me excited. And I just got a freeze frame with... Uh, I just got a freeze frame on accident of the Wingle, and it looks completely separate from the trainer.
My only question is, can uh, you? Is that what the new default clothing looks like? Because it looks kind of bizarre that they would give you that outfit. That looks like something that people picked out as custom clothing. It does. And it looks but, more touristy, to be honest. Guys, yeah, you're doing one hundred percent. One hundred percent. They're gonna have male rompers in this game, guaranteed. Oh my god, no! <laughs> my boy with the romper. <laughs> my boy. Oh my god. My boy. Um, yeah, okay, uh... Uh, okay, I found another interesting freeze frame, though. <laughs> I am obsessed over this with the wingle. Literally, as your player is turning, as you are turning, the wingle is turning. Like, on the same frame, which is important because they would need to do that, like, in-game. Like, they register the same time. Well well, no, but the thing I was telling you is, remember, again, it starts out behind you and it finishes in front of you. Does the player start running or stop running or something like that? Let me look. Well, like, the Wingle's definitely not Oh, yeah, right, we start with that clothing, spot. yeah. Like, uh, I'm sorry, Josh, but I think you're, uh... Um, I'm looking too far into this. No, just just as far as the Wingle. I think you're you're going down a an empty rabbit hole. I want it to be true, though. I mean, I, I, I know you too, but like, yeah, you can't let your own, uh, you yeah. can't let your own confirmation bias sway you. Yeah. See, look how far ahead it is than you by that frame there. It, it's there's no way it's in line with what you're doing. Yeah. It's it's totally just ditching you. It's like peace, man. Do you think there's a possibility that we can still have Pokemon walking? Do people care about I that mean, enough, though? Like, I, mean, I personally this, didn't I ever care about... That. I would I mean, love that. I personally never cared about Pokemon following Josh, you. Josh, I mean, two, two things I wanted to mention. Number one, the girl's got an Alolan Meowth right next to her. Number yeah. two, you don't have your starters by this point, so there's no reason the Wingo would be following you. That's a good point. Also, wait, is your hat a different color? Yeah, your hat's a... It's not the same hat. It's oh, just kidding. Backpack. No, it's good. It's, 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 it's the same. It's the same. Yeah, I was gonna say like you're wearing oh well, you're in completely different stuff at that point. No, it's the same. Uh, that is not the same hat that you wore in, in Sun and Moon. Oh no 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 no! I meant like from the beginning, from like the first. Oh no, 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 no! Yeah, you know it's the same. I get what you're saying. Interesting. Yo, that Toad tomorrow looks fucking pissed. <laughs> oh god. His Toji tomorrow looks like it is done with life. Toji tomorrow. Oh my god, Doge. I need breakfast. I'm hungry. I ate my oatmeal. My I had oatmeal. Uh, I had a ham sandwich and some coffee. I need coffee. Oh god, damn. I'm still yawning. Clearly, I didn't get enough coffee. <laughs> <laughs> so you think that's Z move with the Toji tomorrow? Uh, yeah. Yes, I do, because I can't think I of can... any other. Like, they're not gonna have a mega token tomorrow, and they're not gonna have a mega Mimikyu. So yeah, that's the next. I, I that's my it. next guess. Mimikyu is the best Pokemon. And Token tomorrow and Mimikyu are kind of the unofficial mascots of Gen of Gen Seven. So I mean, it would make sense. Maybe. Just well, give them more ways clones. to shiny hunt and don't lock Mega Stones behind BS again. Yeah, that's that's fair too. They could do more stuff with Megas, you know. Hey. Uh, they have new artwork as well. Serby just tweeted out new artwork. It's pretty much nothing that new based off of the wallpaper we already had. God, how trolly would that be? Hey, by the way, all the Mega Stones that you just unlocked through events, none of them work in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. You gotta get new events to get those. Mm -hmm. So I guess that they would release... They would they would allow the new Pokemon to be playable in Sun and Moon via some update, right? Like, no DLC, right? Mm -hmm. I hope you wouldn't have to pay. What? Like, that would suck. Well, you can trade. You, you'll be able to trade between this and... You can trade between Black and Black 2. So you'll be able yeah. to trade between this and Sun and Moon. True. True, true. So it'll be good from day one. Plus, they said that it's going to add Pokemon support, so... Yeah, that's good. I just hope we don't have to delay the NPA well, again. Oh. <laughs> Why? I mean, you might. New Pokemon. No! New Pokemon, man. It's new Pokemon. No. I will... I will say this, I am going to start saving up for uh, a Switch and an Elgato. <laughs> like a like a good Elgato. I have the I have the, the game capture HD, I want the HD Pro so I could actually do like 
thankfully, Pro thankfully, and Joe and I don't have to do that. Because we already got that, boys. Yep. Well, I gotta pay my taxes still. So after that, it's time to, uh... Pay your taxes, boy. I got a refund. When you're a content creator, you know, hey. You got- You have to file this year, probably. Just saying. Yeah, You have to year, file. Rip. Yeah. Rip the dream. Well, either way, you know, I'm actually gonna put this on YouTube, the, uh, the discussion part of this, because I think we had some- we had some good points. Um, so if you're on YouTube, we're gonna- we'll still- if you're on Twitch, we'll still be live for a little bit. But, uh, hey, if you're on YouTube, if you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button if you're new. And, uh, hey, if you want to be the realest of real MVPs, ring that bell. Ring that bell. Notification squad and all that good stuff. And check out Joe and Jerry. All of their links are down below. Go support them. And, uh, subscribe, like I said, for new Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon, uh, content. Because that's, that's what we're doing. Ultra Sun and Moon. Anything you guys want to say to the YouTube crowd? Uh, surprise YouTube cameo. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Yeah. Alright, we'll see you guys next time. Peace.